Today I'm going to give you five different ideas to animate your presentations in Canva. So let me show you quickly what we're going to learn today and then we'll start with the tutorial. The first thing that we're going to learn is how to make your bullet points appear like I'm showing you at this moment. Then we're going to learn how to add these kind of transitions to your slides. And I'm also going to teach you a new transition called match and move that I think it can be very useful in presentations. So pay attention to the airplane here. This is a pretty easy animation that I did in Canva, so I'm going to show you all the steps. Then I'll teach you how to add animations like this text animation that we see right here. And also pay attention to the elements coming to the page. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And also we can add animated elements like this that we see right here. We can also add GIFs from Giphy directly from Canva, so I'll show you that. And we have also received a lot of comments on how to add YouTube videos to your presentation, so I'll teach you that. This is how the YouTube video is going to look like. You can play the video directly hey from the presentation and you can pause it or, you know, like move around in the timeline of your video. And lastly, we're going to also use videos from the Canva library, like the one that we see in the background on this slide. And as a bonus, I'm going to teach you how to create this timer that is appearing on top of the screen. You can select how many minutes you want on this timer. So pay attention, I'm going to move it from one to two, three, four, five, up to nine. And we can also have a timer for three seconds. So if you guys are interested in learning everything that I just showed you, let's go to my computer. The first idea is to make your bullet points appear one by one. So let's say that I have this slide right here with these bullet points. The first step is to break the bullet points into different text boxes. So at the moment I have all these bullet points in just one text box. So what I will do is to duplicate the text box and leave just the first bullet point in here delete the other bullet points and then for the second one I'm going to delete the first bullet point going to duplicate it and delete the last bullet point on the second text box and lastly on the third text box I will leave just the last one if you have more bullet points than this one, you will create one single text box for each bullet point. Once I have all these bullet points, I can go to position and tidy up so your slide looks more organized. And once you have this ready, we will duplicate our page. So you can do it by going to your thumbnail view, click on the three dots and then duplicate page. I'm going to do this two times. So I have three different slices with the same text because I have three bullet points. If you have five bullet points, you will need to end up with five pages. Now I will go to page number one and I'm going to leave just the bullet point number one. I'm going to delete the second and the third one. Now let's go to page number two and leave just the first two bullet points and delete the third one. And lastly, on the third page, you will have the three bullet points. So let me show you how this would look like on a presentation mode. You go to present, standard present, and then by just clicking with your mouse or hitting your arrow key, you will make those bullet points appear. The second tip is to add transitions to your presentations. Now let's go back to our slide deck and let's say that I want to add a transition from page number three to page number four. For this, I will go to page number three, click on the three dots, and add transition. Here Canva opens this new window showing us the different transitions that we can use. We have five different transitions and we can preview them by hovering on top of each of them. So let me show you dissolve. This one is just dissolving one page into another one. We have slide, we have circle wipe, 
nine wipe and finally match and move which i will show you in a bit when you click on any of these transitions you will have some settings that you can adjust so on all of them you can adjust the duration and some of these animations or transitions you can also adjust the direction so you can make the transition move to the left to the right up or down on the circle wipe you can make the transition go in or to move out so i guess for this one i will add a circle wipe out and then i want to also add another transition on page number four let me go to the three dots add transition and line wipe this time Now I will show you how to use the new transition match and move. So for this, I already have this light ready. I have a map of the world and I have this icon over here. If you want to use a different icon or a different image, you can use the library in Canva. So this map, I found it under photos. This is the image that I used. So it is a political world map and for the icon you can go to elements. Let me show you recently used. This one it is called domestic airline trip. So once you have your slide ready you are going to duplicate it. So three dots, duplicate page and then you're going to position this icon on a different place. So let's say that I want to show the movement of the airplane going from Australia to Spain. So on page number two, my plane is on Spain. Then I'm going to add another page. So duplicate page. And I'm going to make this flight or this airplane go to Colombia. And then add another page and make this plane go again back to spin. Once you have the different slides ready, go to the three dots, change transition or add transition and select match and move. This one is a beta transition. So I guess maybe Canva is still working on it. Maybe they will add some other features to this transition, but at the moment it looks like this. You can adjust the duration and then you will do the same process for all the different pages. I think I already have it because I just duplicated the page which already had the effect. So let me just double check, match and move, match and move. And uh, I guess this one, we don't need it in here. And now let's see how this animation looks. Let me go to the first slide and open the presentation mode. Now you can simply hit the arrow key to the right or click with your mouse. So I'm going to click this time. And as simple as that, you can have this really cool animation on your presentation. Now let's talk about animations, how to add text animations to our slides. Let me go back to the editor and I have here a text box that I want to animate. I simply click or select my text box, then go to animate on the toolbar. And in here we have a bunch of different animations for our text boxes. So I have selected this one and I have my text animations tab open. I can select any animation for my text box and the same way as the transitions if you hover on any of these animations you will be able to preview the animation right away on your text box so i'm going to show you quickly the different animations that we have in here but i suggest that you guys come in here and play around with all the different animations that canva has because we have a bunch of different animations hidden under these arrow buttons. I'm going to select the type writer because I know that a lot of people love this animation. Like when you see the text coming as if somebody was typing, you can adjust this animation when you click on it. So you can add a animation when the slide enters or when it exits, or you can add the animation to both. 
and here we have some more adjustments but these are available only for canva pro you can adjust the speed and also you can adjust the writing style so basically you can add the animation for each character or for each word i'm gonna go for the character writing style and i can select this one because i'm using a canva pro account so let me go for this one now let me show you how to add animations to static elements or static illustrations on your slides so i have these two illustrations in here and we're going to follow the same process click on the animation that you want to animate you're going to select the animate button i already had it open in here and make sure that you are on element animations and then you can preview all the animations that we have available in here so i guess i will go for tumble you can again adjust these animations and i will add the same one to this one tumble okay so here we have the animations let me just go back to page 11 and go to presenters view to see how this is looking okay we have the text animation ready here and now let's pay attention to the illustrations that are coming on the next slide now let me show you how to add animated elements to your presentations this one is pretty easy so let me go back to the editor and let me show you here some animated elements which are also known as stickers so let's say that i want to add a sticker that says thank you like this one right here let's go to elements go to the search box and type thank you you can scroll down and try to find some animated elements right in here but because we are located on the all section we will have a mix of photos graphics and even videos so i personally like to go straight to graphics and in here it will be easier to find these thank you animations so this time i will go for this one you will have it on your slide and then you can simply can adjust the size and position the sticker wherever you want it to go now let me show you how to add gifs from giphy so in canva we have access to these gifs directly from this section so go to more and we have the integration Giphy right here. When I click on it, this section opens up and then I can simply click on any GIF that I like and this one will be positioned into my slide. If I want to find a specific GIF, I can use the search box and type, let's say, flying cat and add a specific GIF that I want to use on my presentation. Now let's move on to how to add YouTube videos. This one is also through an integration in Canva. So we will go again to more and this time select YouTube. From here you can search the video that you want to add. So let's say that I want to add one video from our channel so design with canva and let's search for presentations hit enter and now you can select the video that you want to add to your presentation by just clicking on it the video will be added to your presentation and you will be able to preview the video while you are presenting. If you are trying to find a specific video and you tried the search box but this one is not working, you can also paste a link in here, a YouTube link, hit enter and like this you can have access to a specific video that you want to add to your slide. Now let's say that you want to add a special touch to your slide to make it more interesting. Let's go to the videos section on the left hand side 
And from here, you can access a bunch of different videos directly from Canva. A lot of them are available for free, like the ones that we see in here but some of them will be available only for Canva Pro users. So let's say that I want to add this video to the background of this slide. I just need to drag it to the background and Canva will automatically put the video on the background of this slide. It is as simple as that. And now let's continue to the bonus of the day. As a bonus, I want to teach you how to add these timers on your presentation. And I personally have found these timers pretty useful because you know how much time you have left to talk about this specific topic or if you are doing some activities and you want other people to do a specific action in a certain amount of time, these are amazingly useful. So pretty simple. If you want a one minute timer, just press the key one. And there you have your one minute timer. And then you can keep pressing the numbers if you want to use a different number on your timer. So if I want two minutes, I will press two minutes. If I want three minutes, I will press three and so on until nine. If you want to have just three seconds, press zero and there you have your three seconds. If you want the timer to disappear, simply in this case, because I pressed zero, I will press zero again. If I want my one minute to disappear, I will press again one. Or you can simply click on this exit button right here to close the timer. If you want to keep learning about presentations made in Canva, we have a couple of tutorials that can help you a lot. So I'm going to leave you guys a playlist right here. And right below, I'm going to leave you guys a link to a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in case that you want to use all the pro features and all the pro media available in Canva. I think this is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, remember to share it with your friends. And I guess I see you in the next tutorial. Bye.